Sidebars are a fantastic way of showing more information and linking to different parts of your WordPress site. But you can take this to the next level by adding a collapsible sidebar menu. In just a couple of clicks, users can navigate to any part of your WordPress site from the collapsible menu and you can add whatever links you want to it as well. In this video, we're gonna add a collapsible sidebar menu to a WordPress site using one simple plugin. What's even better is that we're gonna go step by step through this process so that by the end of this video, you'll have an awesome collapsible sidebar menu on your site too. Let's do it. So now we're logged into our WordPress site, the first thing we need to do is install a plugin called the Bellows Accordion Menu Plugin. And what this plugin is gonna do is add the collapsible menu feature to our WordPress site with no coding knowledge needed. It's nice and quick to install and it's easy to use, which is fantastic as well. So to do that, all we need to do is head over to plugins here on the left-hand side, hover over that and then click on add new. And on the add plugins page, we're just gonna come up to the search bar here on the right-hand side and type in Bellows Accordion Menu and hit enter. And this is the Bellows Accordion Menu right here. We can see it's got five stars and 10,000 active installs. It's a really good plugin. And all we need to do is click the install now button that's now installing the plugin once that's installed we can now click the blue activate button as we can see the bellows accordion menu plugin has now been activated on the site so now the next thing for us to do is to create a new menu to use in this collapsible menu for the sidebar so to do that all we need to do is head over to appearance right here and then hover over that and then click on menus now as you can see up this is my primary menu right here but i don't want to use that for my sidebar menu so I'm gonna create a new menu and to do that, you just click the link right here, create a new menu. I'm gonna give my menu a new name, so I'll just call it collapsible menu. And then I'm just gonna hit create menu. Now we've created that menu, we can now add our pages and posts and links to this menu. And we're gonna do that by coming over to the add menu items right here. We're currently under the pages section. I'm just gonna click on view all. And my collapsible menu is gonna be in my blog page sidebar. So what I want to add to this menu is the home page. I'm going to add the blog page as well. I'm going to add the cart checkout contact page, my account page, and I'm going to add the store page as well. Once you've selected all the pages that you want to add to your menu, you're just going to click add to menu. As well as pages, I'm just going to close this. We're going to add a couple of posts to this menu as well. So I'm just going to click on this one and this one and click add to menu. So now we have all of our menu items in a big list like this. Now the main thing to think about when you're using a collapsible menu is it's all about parent and child relationships. So what that means is that, for instance, in my menu, I'll be using the blog item right here as a parent, and then I'll use the two blog posts as a child underneath that as sub-menu items. So what we're gonna do is gonna sort our menu out right now. So I want my store page up by my home page. I'm just gonna move that up there. Then I'm gonna have my blog page and my cart checkout and account pages are then gonna go as submenu items under my store page. So all you do is you grab hold of your item, drag it underneath that item, and then you'll see that you'll be able to drop it as a submenu item. I'll do that for my checkout as well. So I drag it underneath the store and drop it in there. And my account page, drop it in there as well. And then if I wanna reorder these, I can just drag the ones up to the top that I want to be at the top. So I want my cart and then my checkout and then my, my, my account page as well. Just be careful because you can make these a submenu item of the other items as well. So you just wanna make sure you drag them into the correct place. So then I've sorted my store part of my menu out. My blog menu item, I'm now gonna drag these blog posts underneath that so they're sub items as well and then when you're happy with your menu structure just click save menu right here to save the menu so now we've created our collapsible menu the next thing for us to do is to go and copy the short code from the bellows accordion menu plugin to the add to our page so to do that all we need to do is head over to bellows menu over here on the left hand side of the screen and click on that so this is the bellows control panel and all we want to do is copy this short code right here. All you have to do is click on it and then hit Command C on Mac or Control C for PC. That'll copy the short code. And now what we wanna do is add this short code to our sidebar widget. So to do that, all we need to do from the screen is head over to Appearance over here and underneath Appearance, you'll see Widget. So let's click on that. And now we're under the Widgets page. I've got my main sidebar widget right here. It's currently open. 
I'm going to add a short code block to this sidebar. So to do that, I'm just going to click the add block button right there. And then I'm just going to search in the search box for short code. And then I'll just click on the short code block. That's added the short code block to the main sidebar. And then I'm just going to paste in the short code that I copied from the bellows menu area. So I've pasted that in here. And all I'm going to click is update to update the sidebar. Now, as it's a short code, we can't see anything right here. So I'm going to navigate to my blog post page and we'll be able to see what this looks like there. So I'm just going to head to the site and then head to the block. So here we're on the blog page. And as you can see, here is the collapsible menu that we've just created. And if you click on the parent items, you'll see that all the child items are viewable and clickable below them as well. So I've got my store pages and my blog posts. So that's really handy for any user that's on a page and they want to either navigate to the store or navigate to another part of the site or see what some of the most popular blog posts are underneath the blog section, then you can add all those items to your collapsible menu and you can make that a really powerful feature of your website. Now, what you're probably thinking is, how do you change the look of this collapsible menu? Well, to do that, click on the customizer up here. That opens the customizer. And as you can see, underneath the customizer, you've got an option for the bellows. You click on that and we've got two options under here. We've got general and fonts. So I'm going to click on the general section first. And there's a few cool little options here for you to change the way that this looks on your site. So the first thing is the skin. So that's the color, the look of the collapsible menu itself. The options you have are none. You then have a vanilla, something that maybe matches your theme. And then you've got the blue style and the gray style as well. So I'm going to stick with the gray style. You can also choose to expand the current sub menu by checking that box. And you can also choose to show the current associated terms. Menu alignment, you've got options for full, left, right, and center. And with center, you have to choose your menu width as well. Heading back, we now have options for fonts. So we can choose our font family there. I'm using Poppins on this site. So it's got the Poppins font right there. And once you're happy with customizing and the look of your collapsible menu, you just click publish. And that will then save those changes. So now you can go ahead and build up your collapsible sidebar menu however you see fit. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, let us know in the comments below. We read every single comment. And if you've got a question, pop one down below as well. And we'll try and get back to you and help you out with that. If you want to see more videos that help you grow your WordPress site, then make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.